Right, folks, back with another beer review. Now, in the past, I've had a deal with Beerhawk. Elliot worked his magic, and uh, we had a deal. But anyway, out of the deal, I got this lovely, perfect draft. It is my baby. It is my toy. It is fabulous. Uh, so anyway, shut up, Dave. Just go on to the beer review. Um, Brewdog have got a... Uh, Beer Hawk um, have got a, this perfect draft, and they do kegs. Uh, and we have now got out, a, along with the Brewdog Punk IPA in a bockle, I've got a mate called String, and he says things like keckle and bockle, and it used to wind me up. But I think what happened was, I think he realised that it wound me up, so he used to say it even more. Um, I've also got it in a can. I've put my party shirt on for you folks. So, these have been in the fridge. So what I'm gonna do, uh, what I'm gonna do folks, I'm gonna have a sip of these, a sip of that, and then I'm going to do one out of the perfect draft. Uh, so let's try the can first. I'm going to put them in my uh, little thingy glasses. For the visually impaired, I have poured the can into the glass. Right, it's got a good head on it. It's come out the thing, out the uh, can. It's got a good head on it. Um, it does smell citrusy to me. It does smell hoppy. I'm not getting no biscuit. I'm just getting citrusy stuff. I have drank IPA, uh, Brewdog's IPA. Um, I do like it. I'm not... I like a simple beer. I like a simple lager or something like that. A simple. I'm getting into my pale ales, to be fair, just lately. I'm really liking my pale ales. I don't know why. Yeah, I still go to the... I've got this thing right, in the summer, it's lager and cider, in the winter, I do love a Guinness. It's citrusy, it's not over citrusy, I don't know whether my tongue or my taste buds are becoming immune to the citrus stuff, sorry folks. I've just pushed my camera with the table serviette map thing for the plates. Uh, so, yeah, we all know. We all, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I am not a beer reviewer. I am not some of these that sit there and say, I can smell caramel, biscuit, hops, and all that. I just know what I like. I personally think, right, you get all these people who go to these real ale things and the craft beers and all that stuff. And they, I, they've got a tongue like Commander Data out of Star Trek. Do you know what I mean? Don't know what that means. I ain't got a fucking clue why they do that. So now that's got a good head as well. And we all know you can't beat good head. Now, I can't ever remember drinking this out of a bottle. And it, that tastes Oh, fuck knows. That tasted a bit better to me. I don't know why. I ain't got a clue. But now... Oh, damn. I haven't pulled a bit... Oh, fuck it. It just comes out. It's all the same thing, innit? Now, we're moving on to the perfect draft machine with the uh, IPA Punk. CM Punk IP... Now, see, now, why don't they do that? Why don't Brewdog get on the CM Punk? Yeah? And make a beer. But don't make it citrusy. <sighs> So, 
Uh, like I say, this is the first time I've pulled this one. That's got fucking good head, isn't it? That's got good head. That's like what Boris Johnson sitting in your glass with his thing. Ginge broke me fucking thing, didn't she? I'll stick that on. Clumsy mare. I went, leave it. Leave it, you'll break it. Fucking broke it, didn't she? Right, so we hold that up to the camera. Give it a swirl. That's just what I've seen people do. Yeah. That's the can one. That one's a bit more hazy, isn't it, out the bottle? The one out the bottle's a bit more hazy fantasia. Go wild, go free. And that is the one out the keg. It's got a haze to it. It don't smell as citrusy, eh? which is good in my book. <coughs> good in my book. Really, I could do with another glass, can I? I should have pulled one off first, shouldn't I? I should have pulled one off before I did this. I'll keep drinking this one for now. <sighs> Fucking hell. Do I need a spoon for that? <sighs> so, all right. Well, it is. It's the glasses froth. That's better. There you go. What do you think now? Can you see me? Anyway, let's sup in. You know what? Now, I haven't got the refined palate of a beer tuber. I can't taste all the. Scott can taste anything. Scott and oh, but Scott and Wonders World, right? Go and watch his review. He comes out with all this fucking fancy jargon. <clears throat> yeah, and taste different things. Me. That just tastes That just tastes really nice. How can that taste better than them two? I don't understand how the same beers, I mean look. All right, I know I gave that good head. The bottle one's basically lost its head. And the can one is probably a bit better than the... But that, that, the keg, tastes far superior than the can and the bottle. If you, right. If you're a beer tuber, if you're a professional drinker, there's no point in listening to a fat bloke like me going on, right? Because you lot know what you're not. You know, I mean, apparently there's been some bad press about Brewdog and all that. That's their problem. That's their problem. They sort it out. I don't fucking... That is none of my business. But that tastes absolute... That is 10, 20 times better than that. If you're just a normal lad who likes a drink and a, has got a perfect draft because you just like the perfect draft, and if you haven't got one and you can get your hands on one, do get one because they are it, the clue's in the title. The clue is in the title of it. Um, get one and try this because that is absolutely. I can't believe how much better. I can't believe that's not butter. I can't believe that is the same beer. There. Because like I said, you beer tubers and all you professionals, I don't care what you say, I'm not really particularly fucking bothered because I have not got that fine palette, I have not got that interest 
of anything like that, right? All I want is a beer that I like and I can drink. Now, normally, if I went into the co-op, <coughs> if I went into the co-op and bought that, I wouldn't, but I would probably not buy that again, right? If, so, if I'm at a party and somebody says, oh, we've got Punk IPA, I'd say, oh, that's nice, I'll have one of them. I wouldn't particularly go out and spend my own money on that. I would probably get something shit. Because when you, when you buy a can from the co-op and you just want to drink it at home, right, while you're sitting there watching Angry Bootneck on YouTube or something like that, <clears throat> go check him out. Go check him out. Angry Bootneck. Um, tell him I sent you. Um, right, if you go and you're just sitting there watching something on YouTube or the telly or whatever, I would rather drink something else. But this... This is a completely different gravy. It isn't overwhelming of the hoppiness. It isn't overwhelming of the citrusiness. It's there. You can taste it. But it's not, it's not destroying the drink in my book. Because I'm not a big fan of the citrusy. I'm not, I, 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 I just want a drink. Well, I can't fucking see it. I've got some new glasses. I just want to drink beer. That's all I want to do sometimes. Back in my day, all I wanted to do was drink beer, have a laugh, get drunk, nothing stupid, right? And enjoy myself. And this is fact is actually enabling me to do that. I think I'm, I mean the ki the kiwi from next door. He's like me. He's not overly keen on these citrusy beers, but this I actually do like, because when I got it, I'm thinking, fucking hell, 41 quid's a lot, in it? But I do actually like it. I do actually really like that, and I feel a bit of a fraud as such, because I feel like, I feel like I'm saying what I'm supposed to say, right? That, do you know what I mean? I don't want to be that kind of reviewer where I say something, it's good just for the sake of saying it. This isn't a paid promotion, right? So I am in no obligation. If I think this was shit, I would say this is shit. But there again, people who drink Brewdog IPA probably know what it is. I like it. It's not, it's got citrus in it. It's a little bit hoppy. I can tolerate it. I don't know whether my tastes are changing over the, the amount of different beers I'm drinking. I don't know whether if I'm wising up um, or something like that. But this is nice. Go to the co-op. I won't buy these again. Uh, this. The thing is, I like the Spartans. I like all those. Shut up! I like the Spartans. Oh, fucking dogs. I like the Spartans. Oh, shut up! I like the Spartans. I like... Good sweetie. Sucker. Um, I like the Spartans. I like all those kind of... Oh, for fuck's sake. I like all the... Oh, hell. Excuse me. Get out. Come on. Get out. Get it. Get your basket. There's nobody there. Oh, it's a punishment. Oh, oh. Got letters. Oh, God. I do apologise, folks. Normal service will be resumed as soon as I've killed the dog. Now, I do like Spartan. I like all that. But I would be tempted to buy this one again. I would really be tempted to buy, I mean, it's in there, look. Let me prove it's in there. There it is. Punk IPA is in there. So it's not, you know, I don't want to be accused of not drinking the, uh, the right. Oh, fucking dog. Oh, God, the other one started now. 
Shut up! So, I would actually have another one of these. I know you should change your glass. But that, that is, that is really good. I, like I've said, I would have other lagers, uh, the Cronenberg, uh, oh, what's the fucking thing called? <sighs> Hold on. Let's have a look. Low and brow, that was the one I was thinking of. Um, I'd have the low and brows and all them. I, they're all really, really good. But that is up there. That is up there, and for me to be saying a citrusy drink is up there is quite amazing in my book. And I, I haven't even got a book, so. I mean, that is absolutely tremendous. The, the clue is in the title, folks, and I've said this is not a paid promotion. I've got this, and I just wanted to try it because people say so many... I better not waste them because I don't believe in waste. We're a wasteful society, that we are. I mean, I suppose you can actually drink that IPA. I suppose you drink it and then you top your glass up, don't you? If you've actually got a little glass like this. You do it like that, but I'm impressed. Like I say, 41 pound. It's on the high end of the uh, the kegs from um, Brewdog, but I think I'd pay it again. I think I'd pay for that because it's not leaving a, a bad taste. The thing is with citrusy drinks for me is that they do leave a dry... Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying about them? The, but this don't, this is really good, so. And because it's cold, it don't matter how long you leave it in the fridge, it doesn't matter how long you leave it in the fridge, the cans and the bottles lose it, but this, in the glass, stays there. It's absolutely perfect. So, uh, yeah folks, so put your thoughts and your comments down below. I, I'm interested to know what you think. Um, I will never ever be a, an official beer YouTuber. I can't be doing with all the backstabbing and all the fucking bitching and moaning, right? It's a toxic world, the beer review place. Uh, it's fucking gassy and all. So I will never ever be a proper beer channel or anything like that. I don't want to be, never set out to be. It's fucking toxic. But I'd be interested to know what you think. Is the perfect draft in your eyes, better than a can and the bottle. Because it, it pisses all over it, in my book. It's it's far superior and everything. So, there you go. All right, folks, I'm off to um, do something. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Don't know. Gay ladies.